Okay, today I'm going to take a look at my new inverter. A pure sine wave inverter that I got off of Amazon. Um, this is the box it came in. There's the uh, product manual, the warranty card. Uh, in the bag, I have some fuses, some washers. Uh, right now, here's the inverter. It's a thousand watt. I think it's a two thousand surge. Um, it has uh, two wall plugs. Here's your on and off switch. Has a a red light, a warning light. If your battery is running low, it'll come on and it'll beep. If it's uh, too much power, it'll also warn you. Um, I believe this one here is your DC volts coming from the battery and this is your AC volts going out. Okay, I uh, also got me a new battery, this Mighty Max. Um, it has 100 amp hours. It's a sealed battery and I'm going to keep it in the trailer. I'm going to go ahead and test the volts on the battery right now. And compare it to what it says here when I turn it on. Okay. So this is saying there's 14, I mean 13.48 volts. Now I'm going to turn this on and see what this says. Okay. This is saying 13.2. This red light's beeping, and I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to check on that. Okay. Um, I just plugged the TV and the antenna into the inverter. So I will turn on the TV. There's the antenna right there. Okay, let's see, I just turned this inverter on, saying 13.1 volts. I believe that's the uh, AC current. Okay, turn the TV on. What's wrong with him? You can't figure that boy out. All I'm trying to do is give him a little help. Now, I need to station this antenna better. The best thing to do would just be to throw it on the top of the roof. All right. So, it's a good signal. Um, you know, my new battery. This is saying 12.6 now. Um, what I want to do is I want to test the voltage on the battery. So let me, let me hook this up. Okay, so that's saying 12.6, 12.8, jumping around a little bit. Over here it's saying 12.6, so that's, that's real close. I don't know uh, what this TV's drawing down as far as uh, wattage, and then the, that that has to be pretty small. I wouldn't think that'd be more than five watts. This is maybe 50 to 100 watts it's drawing. But so the thing is, um, I did get a new solar panel, so I got two solar panels now. But I'll, I'll have one hooked up to this battery. So it'll be charging as, you know, the whatever appliance I have hooked up, electronics I have hooked up to the inverter. But uh, so this is the first use 
of this inverter and uh, I think it's gonna work out real well okay so uh, I just unhooked the TV you know this is saying the batteries at 12.82 and over here it's saying 12.6 um, I got a solid blue light here which means it's working fine and if this red one was on there's some kind of issue see if I can get a look at the back here so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and plug this radio it's a real cheap radio so but uh, see if it's gonna work So uh, that radio is plugged in, it's working fine, battery says 12.6 there, over here it says 12.8, and uh, here 122, and I believe that's the AC output, I'm still not sure. So I think this is going to work out fine for me. Um, see, the thing is, is uh, I have a battery over here on the side of this trailer. There's a little box on the side of it. Um, and there's a 10, I think it's a 10 watt solar panel on the roof. Um, that's been on there since, you know, the trailer was built. This trailer is in 1996, so... Was that 22 years now that that panel is up there and working? When I bought the trailer, I was told this panel didn't work. But the wiring was a mess in the battery box, and I was able to figure it out. And to my surprise, the panel works. So that what that panel does for me up there, that it's even though it's as small as it is, is it keeps this battery that's underneath here in the, on the side of the trailer, it keeps it... Uh, charged all winter long I don't have to worry about it and my my lights you know I can use my lights I, um, and it works fine um, but I, I'm gonna like this because now my uh, solar panel I'll set outside the store and hook it up to this battery I'll probably move the battery to there and then you know I'll have my radio or the TV going um, This product manual, it has a little bit of good information. Some of it's hard to understand with the translation. I'm trying to explain it in English, but it's still okay. This warranty card, you uh, um, I don't think you there's nothing to mail in. You just hold on to it. I purchased it off, off of Amazon, so I have proof of date of purchase. Um, you have to be careful of purchasing an inverter off of Amazon because some of them they say they're, they're showing them as a pure sine wave inverter and they're not they were the modified um, when I was searching for one uh, I found that that was the case on a couple of them because the people purchasing would you know turn around and do a review and uh, would comment on it um, but this is a pure sign um, somewhere on this box or actually on this inverter on this inverter on the bottom it does have a sticker and indicates you know you where you punch out the different things it indicates a thousand watt and is it modified to pure and it's pure um, the reason why I got this pure sign and wave inverter is because uh, my old inverter I had it in here charging my laptop and my battery and my laptop died. Now I don't know if that was because of the age of the battery or the modified wave killed, you know, destroyed that battery. So that's why I, I wanted to get this uh, pure sine wave inverter. I'll still keep my old modified um, inverter which is up underneath the bed here. I'll pull it out, take, so take a look at it 
and it does work fine. It worked. It works really fine with my radials. I have a. Uh, I have this old radio here that I use a lot. Old Radio Shack one I've had for years, decades. This gets uh, shortwave too, so when I'm up in the mountains, I can pick up the shortwave, even though I can't get radio signals. Okay, so here is my uh, other power inverter, 410 watt uh, modified signal. I mean, this one has worked fine for me for the last couple of years. I, you know, I haven't, I haven't had an issue other than, you know, I'm just speculating that, uh, when I charge my laptop with this, that the laptop battery died and I had to get a new battery. And I, I, again, I don't know if the battery was too old or if it was this kind of shorted it out <clears throat> um what i think i'm gonna do too is i think i'm gonna take these alligator clips off of here and put it on there on the pierce line so because right now i have to hook it direct you know with the bolt where this i could uh just use the clips it'd be a little easier i think so that's something I'll contemplate of uh, changing those cables out. But this is it. Um, and uh, I'll have to, uh, I'll put it on the uh, screen, what exactly this is called. Uh, it's like W something something. Uh, let's see, let me see, let me look at the bottom. Okay, see there's the sticker saying it's a 12 volt AC output 120 volt frequency 60 Hertz and it's a pure sine inverter you know the uh, what is this U USB port it would have been nice to have maybe one of those on it but that's okay this will work and again this is my new battery the mighty max battery it's a sealed rechargeable sealed lead acid battery 100 amp hours you know i got this off amazon too and again you know this is going to stay in the trailer uh to say something about this too when i received it it was at 12.8 volts and then I charged it up to 13.2 that was on April 5th that I received it okay so that's how I'm going to also store it got the battery over there to the left and in the box is the inverter and that's where I'll keep it till I need it. <laughs>